First at 6 o'clock, two people who work at the Humane Society of Tulsa are being accused of killing 11 dogs at a Grove no-kill animal shelter over the summer. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lori Fulbright. And I'm Craig Day. The complaint by the Oklahoma State Veterinary Board says a vet assistant grabbed dogs, gave them a fatal injection, and then threw them into kennels. News on 6's Kristen Weaver joins us live with more on the allegations. Kristen? Well, Craig and Lori, that court document says a manager at the Grove Shelter reached out for help with overcrowding over the summer. Now, it says some representatives from the Humane Society of Tulsa illegally brought euthanasia drugs and killed one puppy and 10 dogs instead of helping the no-kill shelter. The complaint says Gina Gardner, the Humane Society of Tulsa president, and Lawrence DePriest, a longtime Humane Society veterinary assistant, violated several state veterinary board rules. It says Gardner, DePriest, and some other Humane Society workers went to the Second Chance Pet Rescue Center on July 5th after the shelter asked for help with animal overcrowding. But instead of assisting the shelter with a site visit and training, a complaint says witnesses reported one puppy and 10 dogs were euthanized and 22 dogs were loaded up in the Humane Society vehicle to be taken back for adoption. It goes on to say witnesses saw DePriest with 11 to 12 syringes in his back pocket. Witnesses told Grove Police DePriest gave them each an injection, then watched the dogs get loopy, fall on their side, and foam at the mouth under Gardner's direction without any licensed veterinarian present. The Grove shelter is no kill, and the document says employees had no idea the Humane Society Society workers would be killing dogs that day and nobody from the board of directors had given approval to kill them. The document also says DePriest unlawfully transported the euthanasia drugs to Grove after taking them from a locked cabinet in Tulsa. Both Gardner and DePriest are required to attend a veterinary board hearing on December 1st to answer for the possible violations. And at the time, that Grove shelter was under the direction of two interim managers who no longer work there. I did call that shelter, and the new director says her focus is on the safety and happiness of the animals and that they're making a difference thanks to help from the community. I also reached out to the Humane Society of Tulsa for comment and have not yet received one. Live in Tulsa, Kristen Weaver, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.